All right, today we're going to continue talking about the Newport Ritchie area. If you missed the overview video, it'll be linked above throughout. I do recommend checking that one out before this one. This is going to be some pros and cons. Here we go. Today, we're here at the Living in Tampa channel. We make videos about what it's like to live and move to the Tampa, Florida area. If that's something you wanna follow along with, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, we are a team of realtors here in the Tampa area, so if you have any real estate specific needs or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Our phone number and email are right there on the screen and in the description down below. We would love to hear from you anytime. Okay, let's get right into it. Pros and cons of the Newport Ritchie area. Newport Ritchie is this area just kind of outside of the Tampa metro area, but still considered a big part of the Tampa MSA, the Metropolitan Statistical Area. 113,000 people in this area in these four zip codes that you see here on the map. All right, pro number one, there are a lot of parks in this area and not just the big ones like Starkey Park that has like 20 miles of bike trails or just Sims Park downtown, but there are kind of parks throughout. We actually moved here from Colorado two years ago and the parks in this area, in this whole Tampa area have been a delight to us since we moved here. Okay, pro number two, Newport Ritchie is a little bit more affordable than areas that are a little closer to Tampa. Of course, if you need to be closer to Tampa, you are paying for that and that might be worth it to you, but this area is a little bit more affordable. Okay, pro number three, this area is still pretty accessible to Tampa because of the way the highways run in this area. Whether you're close to Highway 54 or Highway 52, you can get over to the Veterans Expressway, get down into Tampa pretty fast. But if you're not close to those highways, it's pretty slow to get to them like neighborhood town kind of roads. All right, next on the pro list, this is an area where you can avoid HOAs if that is really important to you. And I know that is very important to some of you because you ask for it all the time. HOAs and CDDs can be avoided pretty easily in this area. All right, next on our list, this area has a lot of water access, not so much in terms of beaches, but in terms of boat access, whether you're downtown and accessing through the public boat launch on the river, or you're going out to like Anklote Park, which is just a little bit south of Newport Ritchie, there are a lot of easy access points to get a boat in the water. And there are a lot of houses on the water as well, kind of big and small. And of course you do pay a premium for those. Okay, and here to wrap up our pro list, the downtown in Newport Ritchie has really been rejuvenated in the past few years. And this city is giving it a lot of attention, really incentivizing businesses to come down here and create a cool downtown. All right, and now for the cons for Newport Ritchie. There are a lot of older homes in this area and this town was established in like 1915, 1913, something like that. Check out the overview video, you'll get a little bit more of that information. So with older homes, there are you know issues with that, whether that's termite damage, whether that's just deterioration, and even little features like lower ceilings. So some of these houses that were built in the 50s and 60s, they just didn't really focus on those kind of things. Right now it's April, 2022, and over the past few years, we've seen a big push for investors buying residential real estate. And, and this Newport Ritchie area is very common for that. So our next con is uh, there are a lot of investor owned homes. And what does that mean? What does that actually look like? How does that affect you? It often means that like a neighborhood was just mostly renters. And so houses deteriorate a little bit faster, you know, people move in and out. And like the landscaping is never done. You know, people have yards that are just weeds and no grass. And not that that's in all a bad thing. That's, eh, who cares? Who cares if there's a bunch of weeds in your grass? There's a bunch of weeds in my grass, if I'm honest. 
but it does have a different feel for a neighborhood. Okay, and for our next con, let's continue talking about houses. In this area, in general, there are a lot of two bedroom houses and a lot of mobile homes. And so a lot of this area was built and established with retirees in mind and with vacationers in mind. So a lot of these properties and communities have been set up with that kind of focus. Oftentimes retirees don't need a very big house or they are living on fixed income and want that smaller budget. Okay, next on our list is there are a lot of retirees and that maybe is good or bad. If you're moving to like a very family focused area, you might kind of question some of these areas, but in Newport Ritchie, it's more specific neighborhoods, specific areas of town. There are still some very family focused, family friendly areas, but there are a lot of retirees. And along with that, because there are a lot of retirees, there isn't a lot of pressure on the city and on the systems to have good schools. The schools are not amazing. Not all of them are awful, but you should be doing some research about that before you choose an area. I know people that actually chose schools in this area, maybe because of the community around the school or things like that. So it's not all bad. I don't wanna like throw the baby out with the bathwater, but the schools aren't great. And finally here to wrap up our con list is reputation. Newport Ritchie does not have a great reputation. Some of that is because of quite a few appearances on cops back in the early 2000s and live PD not too long ago. And that is, you can think whatever you want of that. I don't care that much about that. But historically the reputation of Newport Ritchie is quite a bit more blue collar. And that just has, it's quirks. If you did miss that first Newport Ritchie video, it's linked above. And as always, if you do have any real estate specific questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our phone number and email are right there on the screen and in the description down below. Thanks for coming by.